Hey guys, Liam here, your favorite Linux and Steam Deck content creator who apparently sounds like They have a frog in their throat. Where do you people keep <coughs> Where do you people keep coming up with this kind of thing? Anyway, jokes aside about silly comments, there's some fun news for you today as Valve has released the latest stable update to Proton with 7.0-6. This was available previously as Proton Next, with it pulling in a bunch of fixes from Proton Experimental to keep pushing compatibility on Steam Deck and Linux even further. It's not a huge release though, it's more about just continuing to support as many games as they can, but there are some important fixes that I'll run through with you now. Firstly, it will show up in your Steam downloads as an update to Proton 7. Everyone should have this installed as it is the default, so just make sure you let it run the update. Although if you try to run any game using Proton 7, it should update by itself before the game launches anyway. Now actually playable without any special fixes or changing of Proton versions, so these should all work out of the box completely now, including Gotham Knights, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, Heroes of the Dark, Super Arcade Racing, Crazy Machines 3, King Under the Mountain, Nin Nin Days 2 and Mahjong Ladies. A bigger one here is that Valve also included the fix for the Ubisoft Connect launcher which I highlighted a problem with in a recent video that was very quickly patched in Proton Experimental. This is because Ubisoft launched an update for Ubisoft Connect and it ended up breaking all of their titles that used it in Proton but now you can just switch back to Proton 7 when you've updated and Ubisoft Connect will work again. For any games that you do have it set as Proton Experimental, you can just untick it from the compatibility menu and then it will default back to Proton 7 unless Valve has actually forced a different version of the game. My example here with the new Trackmania is just to quickly show you that it does indeed work fine with Proton 7.0-6. I'll have a proper video up on Trackmania another time. As for the rest, it's just bug fixing for titles like Septeracore, Persona 5 Royal, Vampire Survivors, Super House of Dead Ninjas, Enemy Mind and Out There, Zeep Kissed, Overcooked All You Can Eat, Quake 3 Arena and Quake 3 Team Arena, Valve also fixed the EA app launcher displaying a blank window which much like the Ubisoft Connect launcher EA broke loads of titles in the past that were being forced onto Proton Experimental so that they had the fixes in. The EA app is now properly fixed in Proton 7.0-6 and much like the previous demo I'm just going to show you Jedi Fallen Order working just fine on this new release. Hopefully the fixes for both the EA app and Ubisoft Connect will hold for a bit longer this time. It would be great if we stopped having this repeating extra launcher issue where they get an update which breaks it. So then the Proton developers have to go and figure out why it suddenly doesn't work as it's broken multiple popular titles on Steam Deck. One thing it does show is how clearly Valve are keeping an eye on everything though and again how great Valve can be at being reactive to update as soon as some major breakage is spotted. Because there's nothing worse than settling down for a nice evening of gaming to have a game launcher update completely destroy your plans. Apart from that, back to the changelog here, we have Marvel Snap also now working. There are multiple issues fixed for Microsoft Flight Simulator. They also fixed issues with Sackboy, A Big Adventure, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, Jurassic World Evolution 2 having bad performance. There's fixes for multiple monitor support in Project Cars 2 and 3, so that's more for desktop Linux. They fixed Korean not being rendered correctly in a launcher for one of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms games. There's fixes for language rendering in Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. They fixed Lost Lands Dark Overlord, Lost Lands Dark Lord, Lost Lands Redemption, and Haunted Hotel Silent Waters Collector's Edition, or Crashing. There's a video playback regression with Chrono Before the Ashes and they've also improved video playback with Outriders and Together Island. So as I mentioned, it's not really a major Proton update. It's more about keeping up with problems in a bunch of games and launches that have appeared over the last couple of months to keep your gaming on Steam Deck and Linux desktop going smoothly. 
That's it for the quick news tip. Just wanted to get word out there that the Proton update is out now. Be sure to comment and hit the like and subscribe buttons. Give me a helping hand here and I'll see you later.